Rehearsals are currently ongoing as Lake Orion High School's thespian troupe prepares for their fall production of She Kills Monsters, created by playwright Kui Gwen in 2011. The play tells the story of Agnes Evans, an average woman who loses her family in a tragic car accident. Agnes attempts to learn more about her little sister Tilly through a game of Dungeons and Dragons. The basic storyline of She Kills Monsters is about a sister trying to reconnect with her younger sister who passed away a year prior. She finds a, a notebook that belonged to her younger sister, which turns out to be a Dungeons and Dragons game that she then takes to some of her younger sister's friends and has them help her take her through the game and try to connect one last time with her sister. Along the way, she finds out a lot of things about her younger sister's identity that she wasn't comfortable enough to share with her family while she was alive. Senior Lexi Davis landed the plum role of Agnes, who gets to wield a sword and slay dragons. And yeah, the entire process was really exciting, really scary, but when I found out I got casted as Agnes, um, that was really, really cool, really exciting. I remember I was so happy that I'd be able to be in this role. It's really tiring, for one. Um, I'm out of breath still, but yeah, no, it's really fun, really dream fulfilling, just running around slaying dragons kind of thing. These incredible dragon heads were borrowed from a school in Ohio that recently produced their version of She Kills Monsters. Everything else has been created by Lake Orion's prop department. With opening night quickly approaching, things have been coming along nicely, although there are challenges thanks to the ongoing COVID pandemic. COVID does continue to be a thorn in our side here and there, but nowhere near as bad as it was last year. The fact that we were able to continue to produce theater last year and adjust to all of the craziness, this has almost made this production easy in comparison. We still have to work with masks. All of our actors on stage will be masked for the entire performance, um, as well as making sure that everyone stays healthy. We did have a, a couple actors out for a little bit um, because they had to quarantine. Um, but we have understudies who stepped into those roles during that time, so we didn't completely lose that rehearsal time. The curtain goes up on Thursday, November 18th at 7 p.m. with additional performances on the 19th and 20th and a 2 p.m. matinee performance on Sunday, November 21st for younger theater goers. Now, depending on how little they are, I do want to give the, the disclaimer that this show does deal with some issues of identity and figuring out um, sexuality that was one of the things that the younger sister revealed throughout the game that she was actually um a, a lesbian and well it's it's hinted at it never comes out and directly says but there uh, this play does deal with bullying and hate speech so some of those things might be a, a little too rough for some of the really younger ones but i would say late elementary school and up will be perfectly fine with the language um, it's a very emotional play, but it's very humorous. There's a lot of heartfelt moments and very funny moments, and I definitely recommend watching this show. Well, it's an incredible show, and I think one of the best parts of it is there's such a powerful message behind it of, of acceptance and, you know, diversity and tolerance in our community that I think really hits home to a lot of the people in the show and should be told to the people who come to see it. And how fun is it to do this kind of fantasy epic sort of thing? It's very fun. I mean, you get to see all like the weapons and stuff and all the fight scenes. It's very fun to sit through when I get to sit at the side of the stage and not participate in any of it. So it's very fun. <laughs> <laughs> Tickets are $9 for adults and $6 for students and can be purchased at the door 30 minutes before showtime. For more information, visit LakeOrianSchools.org and go to the high school page to click on LOHS Fall Production. From the Lake Orion Performing Arts Center, this is Joe Johnson reporting for ONTV News.